<laughs> Ow, I tried to do a roly poly and this hit me in my face. My cow slipper. <coughs> <coughs> um, I'm sorry if I look like shit. Actually, I'm not sorry. I look like shit and I own it. Um, I'm doing very well. I'm gonna sit down and explain. And I'm gonna show you my manga collection. This is like the most low effort video. Um, because I have an ill. So, yeah, sit down. <laughs> I don't know why I'm sat here trying to do a video when I'm still sick, but I love you guys and I miss you, so here I am. Okay, so a few weeks ago, I ended up having to go to hospital because I had the flu, but I also passed out because of dehydration and lack of food. And then I spent the past couple of days in bed not doing anything. And I've got ADHD, so, it's been mentally really hard and I've been sad and depressed and crying about it because I just want to feel healthy and be better and I don't feel better and healthy and it's making me sad. Also, being sick is really, really... <laughs> <coughs> oh my god, I had to have like actual drug drugs as well. Um, <laughs> which was horrible, but also not horrible. <laughs> Um, drugs are rad, okay, but when they help you get that, yeah, they're good. Um, <coughs> so, I'm like, on the mend, uh, I sound like shit, I look like shit, I am, maybe I am shit. Um, and I didn't even want to get changed into something cute for this video, so, take me as you have me, baby. <laughs> yeah, baby, yeah. I also want to say, I'm kind of glad that I got ill, because, um, this is gonna sound really messed up, but some people, when you're ill, they only give a fuck about themselves still, um, and how you benefit their lives. I've noticed that, and sometimes I realise that sometimes people will use you for a pawn of their entertainment, and instead of being like, hi, are you better? It's like, hi, can I still get something out of you? Um, so I'm going into this year, selfishly i guess so before you ask me something in the future evaluate if you gave a crap when i was sick okay <laughs> anyway i want to show you my manga collection so i'm gonna do that i've actually got i've actually got quite a lot of box to show you i only went to manga last year i think um and it was junji ito ito who really tickled my pickle yeah he said um so i have got Deserter, which honestly is stunning. Junji, his books are very dark and very <laughs> fucked up. Just how I like them, really. I do like a bit of a fucked up storyline. I don't want always... If there's romance, the girl has to be, like, romantic but possibly may slit your throat. Or, like, romantic but possibly is a furry who then might eat you actual eat you not like romantically eat you okay so deserter i haven't actually finished this i thought i did finish this one but i finished another one um this is about a family who are living in like sort of false reality in the war it follows a pair of girls that aren't twins but look alike and it also follows this guy's weird messed up thoughts that like seep into the real world it, these books i'm making them sound boring they're actually so interesting they're haunting they the illustrations are stunning and I don't know how he thinks of his stories. He must, like, just look. His stories are the most interesting yet. And I just can't get enough of Ito. They also do cover a lot of dark um, topics. So trigger warning. If you don't like dark topics, then you won't like any of these books. Um, but they are really messed up. Actually... I have got halfway through this one actually. I don't want to spoil it, but this girl kind of takes people's faces in a really, really messed up way. And the ending of it is just terrific and scary, but there is like a deeper message there. I don't want to ruin anything, so I'm not going to. <coughs> <coughs> okay, so we all know about Tony. Um, it's the picture with the girl with the half face. You guys would definitely know who she is. She's beautiful, obviously, of course. She's, she's, she's a, a seductress. Um, basically, it's about a girl who can literally seduce any man and she can make them do what they want. And like the stuff that she wants them to do is pretty sick. 
she just has the power to make people do fuck up stuff and I really really think that's cool <laughs> I guess I'm um, here with some of the illustrations I don't want to ruin it for you uh but yeah I am interested to figure out if she actually has two faces or is the two face thing just a metaphor I've not yet read this but that's one to read okay stay there I'm gonna get the rest next <laughs> I can't like Ruben's like <laughs> <coughs> Next we have Death Note. So we've got, <laughs> I can't believe I sound like this. We've got all the Death Note books right here. I don't feel like I need to introduce Death Note to anybody, but basically we follow a man who picks up a book. The book has special powers and he also gets a sort of spirit that watches over him that helps him guide what to do with these special powers and he does very messed up things <sighs> questionably messed up things it depends where your morals lie there's also a love interest i'm gonna say love interest she's interested in the main protagonist is he interested in her you're gonna have to read it or watch it to find out um i don't want to ruin it for you apparently the books ending is different to the anime ending so I'm excited to watch that um but yeah I don't again don't want to ruin it for you but honestly please watch Death Note if you're interested in like thrillers romance I say romance because to me there is a romantic aspect <laughs> um but that's maybe just my warped perception of romance some of these were gifted some of these weren't so when I went to York a few months ago, there was a little shop that was selling loads of uh, anime figurines and mangas. And this book, I had never heard of Mysterious Ex-Girlfriend before. And I read the blurb and it just really stood out to me. So, <laughs> okay. So basically, from what I'm getting from this blurb is Mikoto the girl is in this guy's class and she falls asleep on his desk and she's drooling everywhere. Next thing you know, he touches the drool, and from then, mysterious weird things keep happening. And we know how weird manga gets. Apparently this is one of like the best, weirdest ones. Um, it's like a twist on a high school romance story. Probably gets quite freaky and weird in the best possible way. And they have a really unusual bond. I'm not sure if that's through the spit or not, but we're gonna find out. Um, so if you're interested in like weird romance, mysterious ex-girlfriend is for you this is just volume one um there's a lot of drool already like first pages that i'm looking at she's drooling <laughs> yeah like um this is gonna be a fun one there's a lot of this so um yeah we get to find out about her life and his life as well which is really nice because i guess this maybe it's like a freaky coming of age story i'm starting to feel really sick <coughs> I'm starting to feel quite bad um, talking so much. So I'm going to try and hurry this along. <laughs> That's okay. Love Sick Ellie, um, <laughs> volumes one and volumes two. Um, I'm not quite sure what this is about. Um, I've heard that this is a really nice romance novel. Basically, Ellie is a pervy girl. And in school, she's super, super, super boring. But Ellie has this really outgoing online persona with thousands and thousands of followers. And she spends her time, and she spends her time perving on the classmates that she fancies. Um, and she has wild fantasies that she writes about online. And she has, she posts a lot of thirsty, thirsty, thirsty tweets. And one classmate thinks that she's perfect, but then he finds out she's not as perfect as she, she seems and he discovers her secret. Whether the secret is about her pervy nature, about her pervy tweets, I don't know how pervy these get. I'm trying to read. He pulls me to kiss me hard. At the very last moment he stops relishing my agony. He asks, what do you want? Okay, so it gets quite pervy, but I don't know. It looks kind of innocent, but that's always the case with manga. Okay, 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 I'll try and get through these. We have got... <laughs> okay, so I actually have got the first one of this as well, somewhere. I don't know where it is, but it's somewhere. <laughs> We've got Heaven Castle. From what I recall, I think this is like a common of age love story, but there's explicit cons uh, 
content in. I'm not sure if it's like sexual or aggressive. Um, I bought it, so it's probably sexual. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of like a coming of age story in school. Um, one of the main protagonists is getting bullied, I think, and he's had a really rough life. We get to find out about his life in the first book, I'm, I'm assuming. And he ends up meeting someone that's giving him pleasure, but like, what cost is the pleasure at? And what kind of pleasure is he getting? I'm not quite sure. So it's kind of like, I guess it's like a romance novel um, that gets kind of gritty. I mean, already they're on top of each other. I'm not sure if they're a gay couple or what i'm not quite sure but we'll find out we'll find out this looks steamy i'm excited i do like my steamy manga they can't lie then we have another love story i'm i'm a hopeless romantic what can i say it's called those not so sweet boys so there's a girl called Maiduri and she drops her wallet on the first day of class and one of these three boys who have been expelled um pick up her wallet and she wants to thank them but she turns out they, they turns out they've been expelled for being naughty and it's kind of she makes it her task to try and bring them back to class or something like that S chairman of the school board catches her leaving work that's why she has to bring them back to school because the chairman of the board catches her leaving work and he's like listen i'm gonna let you off if you bring these three boys back i'm guessing she's probably gonna fall in love with either all three of the boys or one of the boys or maybe they will murder each other we never know in manga or maybe they'll turn into animals okay oh my god this is actually so hard i'm in so much pain <laughs> <coughs> okay this one's called the fiance chosen by the ring um and i got this at an airport so basically what this is is that she goes to this lavish party and a ring like falls up on upon her existence i think that's what i read before and then the ring has chosen her to become this guy's bride. So she's been chosen to be his bride by the ring. He didn't choose her, no one chose her, and now she has to marry this man and get to know him. I think that's the, 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 the way the story goes. I, I'm not quite sure if she has to marry him or the ring is forced her to marry him, but I'm sure we're gonna find out. Um, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't tell you much in the blur, but we just know that she has to marry this guy. I'm guessing she's gonna fall madly in love with him, or kill him, one of the two. <laughs> um, I don't wanna ruin it too much and show you, but that's the friend. <coughs> oh, God. This one is called, called Mir Miraku-chan. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it, I, it was the front of it that really um, sucked me in because I don't know, she looks sad, but she's on her phone. So is her phone making her sad? Is there something that she has to do? And she's got like a, like a schools in her, in her eyes. And I don't know, it just really pulled me in. So a normal girl was living a normal life until she wasn't. One day she could see everything. What, what's a girl to do when hideous monsters appear, no matter which way she turns? On top of that, no one else can see them. Obviously, there's only one thing that makes sense, and, and you have to ignore them. Kind of hard to put theory into practice, though, when Ghost knows that she's watching. So she sees ghosts, and that's kind of sick. Like, and the illustrations are friggin' stunning. Like, look at those illustrations. Um, I just know this is going to be a good one. Okay, so I'm not going to buy any more <laughs> manga until I've, like, got through each of these series. Um, at the minute, I'm reading Smashed as well, um, and the, this is so good, good, like it's another um, Junji Ito. I've actually finished this. Some of the stories made me feel sick in like the best way. And I, there was also one that about bats that really blew my mind. I didn't really know that bats could solely just feed off blood, like vampire bats, there's three different types. And there's a story in this that has blood sucking bats. Again, it's a compilation of 13 crazy, weird horror stories and they just get better and better. His writing is just the best. He is indeed the master of horror. And if you want to be scared, if you want to be disgusted, if you want to be disturbed, Smashed is definitely one for you. Anyway, guys, you probably can tell that I'm lagging and flagging. I don't even know why I decided to do this, but I did. Um, I hope you enjoyed my updated manga collection. I'm gonna go for a cyber hug. Mm. <coughs> Lovely. Bye.